a gentleman that is going to be part of an upcoming card. The former champion, the big guy himself. He'll be my co-commentator for this amazing match. Hello, big guy. Hello, Mean Gene. It's going to be a great match tonight. This is a grudge match in the making. A great story about the common man versus the big bully. Oh, yeah. A grudge match? Big guy, how do you see that? Well, Mean Gene, this poor guy, this Jacob, was just traveling down the road when he was accosted and threatened by an angel of the Lord. Oh, yeah, threatened and made fun of in front of his wives. So Jacob agreed to a match, and what a match. It's going to be almost worthy of one of mine, Mean Gene. You may be right, big guy. This match is at the location of the Sandy Road Ring of Penuel. According to natives, means the face of God. If that's so, here we are together to see what I can only describe as a match of biblical proportions. I don't get it. Don't let it bother you, big guy. It's almost time. The seats are filling up with some very famous people. I see the angel Gabriel the Hornblower in the front row. He's just in from his gig in Canaan. His very popular tour will be taking him to Jericho next. I think he'll bring down the walls on that one, Mean Gene. Oh, yeah. Too right, big guy. After that, he's on to Sodom and Gomorrah and finally Bethlehem. Oh, yeah, I love his work. The big guy wants to have him write his theme music. Can you dig it, Mean Gene? Can you dig it? I dig it, big guy. Also in attendance is Lucifer, the star of the morning, and her entourage. Her brother Michael is in a separate section with his own group. He has not stopped glaring at Lucifer. Oh, yeah, Mean Gene. There is some bad blood going on here. The big guy knows bad blood, and there it is. I think those two could go at it any moment. You think this will there'll be a match in the future? I think you'd need a bigger venue than here, big guy. Possibly the rings at the plains of Megiddo. That would be a great matchup. Possibly a tag team match. With you and her? I don't think that your partner would appreciate that. Partner? Elizabeth. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Hey, the angel has brought a ladder to the ring. I wonder what he intends to do with it. Are you sure that that's a ladder, Mean Gene? It looks more like a stairway. Well, big guy, there's a lady who's sure. Oh, yeah. Then this is the world's first ladder match. Well, on to the main event of the evening. Both wrestlers have entered the ring. The angel standing at 6 foot 9 inches, weighing in at more than the scale could count. And the defender of humanity for the match standing at 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighing 180 pounds, hailing from Canaan and most recently Bethany. Let's hear it for the Hebrew Hammer, Jacob. Mean Gene, the angel isn't waiting for the bell. He's attacking Jacob with a clothesline. Jacob rebounded from it very well. He's using the ropes to give himself speed, and there it is, a flying body press that took the angel off his feet. Jacob has the angel pinned. Is this the end? The ref is moving in for the count. One, two. The angel pushed Jacob off and is rising to his feet. Oh, the angel looks like he's losing his temper, Mean Gene. Well, he does not look happy, that's for sure. The angel has jumped to the top rope. I think he used his wings for lift. I think that gives him an unfair advantage. Oh, I guess it's nice to have wings, but I agree. Wings should be unallowed in the ring. The angel is leaped high in the air at Jacob, who is rushing the ropes. The angel is trying to use a flying elbow on him. Oh my, Jacob jumped out of the way at the last second. The angel slammed into the canvas. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. The angel has gotten back up, and the two have squared off in the center of the ring. They're both throwing haymakers, and neither one is giving an inch. The crowd is on its feet. Both Michael and Lucifer's groups are screaming, Michael for the angel, and Lucifer seems to be rooting for Jacob. Oh, this is a sight to see, Mean Gene. Oh my, Jacob has ducked under the angel's punch and grabbed him around the waist. They are both hurtling over the top rope. Watch out, they're going to crash! Oh, right into the Spanish announce table! I know, es la tercera vez esta semana! Jacob looks shaken. The angel has climbed to his feet and jumped back into the ring. The ref has started the count. Jacob has only three seconds to get back in. He made it just in the nick of time. That fella's got a lot of heart. Oh yeah, it's just what the crowd wants to see. Looking at the crowd, I see that the Serpent from Eden is in attendance. Who's the guy carrying him? Well, I think his name is Jake or something. He's new to the ring. I'm surprised that the big guy isn't in attendance. Um, Mean Gene? I'm right here with you. I meant the other big guy, big guy. You know, God. Oh, yeah. Him. 
Well, I hear he's playing skee-ball in Atlantic City and couldn't make it tonight. Well, that being the case, he's missing a great fight. By the way, big guy, have you heard about some upcoming cards? Not really, Mean Gene. Tell us what's coming up. Well, in the not-too-distant future, there is the world's first cage match. A young newcomer named Daniel will be fighting for his life against the wrestler known as the Lion. Um, I think that might be an actual lion, Mean Gene. I don't think I'd want to be eating that one then, big guy. Oh, Mean Gene, you'd be eaten alive. You look very tasty. Whoa now, big guy, have a meat stick. Well, thank you, Mean Gene, I will. Oh, by the way, I hear that there'll be a table match in Jerusalem around the turn of the season. It's a handicap match as well. The challengers are wrestling, known as the Kid Carpenter versus all the bankers. Now that should be a great fight. Speaking of fights, let's get back to Jacob. Jacob and the Angel are still slugging it out in the center of the lane. This is amazing. I have never seen anything like it. Oh, Mean Gene. Jacob might even be a good fight for me to have. He might indeed. Oh my, the angel just grabs for the face of Jacob. Oh, wait a minute. That's the Patagonian nose hold, Mean Gene. That's illegal. Yes, it is. Not the type of behavior I would have expected from an angel of the Lord. True, but it is something you're familiar with, big guy. I don't know what you mean, Mean Gene. I almost never get caught using it. Uh-huh. Well, Jacob has freed himself from that blatant illegal move and has grabbed the angel's arm and is working on an armbar takedown. That is proof of what a consummate fighter young Jacob is. Jacob definitely seems hungry for a win here. And speaking of hungry, I had lamb chops for dinner last night, big guy. Mmm, I love lamb chops. They aren't my favorite, though. Ooh, second favorite to a good steak. Yeah. Big guy, I thought you were going to ask me how the lamb chops were. Oh, yeah. By the way, how were the mean G... How were the lamb chops, Mean Gene? Not bad. Oh, you got me with that one. And you're making me hungry. And when I get hungry at work, I like to bite into a meat stick. Tasty and high in protein. This is amazing. Jacob has managed to get behind the angel and has him in a new hole that stretches his neck out, making him look like a camel. That's it, big guy. It's some kind of camel clutch. Oh, that's a good one, Mean Gene. It looks like this is where the tables turn. It does indeed. We will take a brief intermission for some commercials and then back come back to the action in progress. Don't go away. And we're back. The angel has been unable to break free of Jacob's grasp. He went from the camel clutch to a front bear hug, and they've been going at this for hours. Oh, the sun will be rising soon, Mean Gene. I can't believe those two haven't stopped yet. This is a match of true Iron Men, big guy. But I thought we were in the Bronze Age. Don't think about it too hard, big guy. Wait, what's this? The angel is whispering to Jacob. Jacob seems to be in agreement. He has released his grasp and has moved away. The ref is coming for the bow. Oh, incredible. The angel's lost and he knows it. He could crush Jacob's body. He could crash his bones. But he could never, never break his spirit. Jacob is a marvel. Any world that could spawn one as noble as him is truly blessed. The angel just said, I spare your earth. Oh, yeah, what a fight. Wait a minute, big guy. What do you mean, spare your earth? Well, that's what he said, Mean Gene. Oh, my. That does not sound good at all. It seems as if there was more at stake here than we thought. There usually is, Mean Gene. There usually is. The angel has turned to Jacob and called him Israel. That does not sound like an insult, but I have no idea what it means. Oh, me either, Mean Gene, but it sounds like a good name for a country, though. Could be. While the angel has left the ring to be mobbed by Michael and his friends, Gabriel look is looking at Lucifer and smiling. The toll has been taken on Jacob. He dropped to his knees and is being helped back to his corner by his wives. Oh, that's a lot of wives, Mean Gene. You know, that's probably how he got his stamina for the match. Uh, let's not go there, big guy. For those tuning in late, you missed a great fight which ended in a draw between Jacob and the Angel. For the Middle East Wrestling Foundation, I am Mean Gene, and this is the big guy. We will see you next week with a great new card. Say good night. I, I mean, good morning, big guy. Oh, uh, wait, okay. good morning, big guy. Wait, that's not right. Good morning, Mean Gene. Good morning to all. 
This video was done with the greatest respect and love for Eugene Arthur Okerlund, better known by his ring name, Mean Gene Okerlund, and Randall Mario Poffo, better known by his ring name, Ma Randy, Randy Macho Man Savage. No angels were harmed during the making of this production. Maligned, baby, but not harmed.